we met and we lived together for for a while, moved to Salt Lake City, and then I went walking and was climbing in South America and fell, and somehow I got back to the States that I died. For 20 years, she thought I was dead. She saw me on TV. She rarely watches TV, rarely. One night she was actually watching TV and the news came on, on CNN. And here I am in my park uniform here in Death Valley and, I'm, and this guy comes on and he says, ladies and gentlemen, we're in Death Valley National Park, the hottest place on earth. And here to tell us why it is so hot is Ranger Jay Snow. And she went, he's alive? Now we're married. Unbelievable. When I was 12 years old, I had a teacher, Miss Stebler, never forget her. She's not here anymore. She's passed now, but she always would point at us kids and go, kids, you got to set goals in your life. You got to have a list of things you want to do in your lifetime. So here's what you're going to do tonight for your homework assignment. You're gonna go home and write out a list of things you wanna do. And so I did, 12 years old, you know, I didn't. But anyway, I'm in my 40s and I'm going through old papers, sitting at my desk in my office and I'm going through old papers and guess what I run across? That old list of things. And on it was Walked Across America. I went, I'm done, I'm finished, I'm gone. So I, I closed up everything and most of my family thought, Jay has gone crazy. So uh, I, I went walking. I walked from Oklahoma, or I took a plane from Oklahoma to New York, and I started at Montauk State Park, put my feet in the Atlantic, and came out at Carmel, California, and put my feet in the Pacific. Two years, three months to walk across the United States is not what you, you don't take that long. But just walking in and seeing this and stopping, oh man, really woke me up to where we're at as a human race and where I was at. And the question, was I not happy before I went walking? Not not the happiness that I have now after my walk and all the walks that I've had and all the people I've met and the experiences there. I mean, I found myself, who I really am. And, and I'm an earthling. Why would I sleep under a man-made roof when I got all this? And even as a kid, they would find me outside sleeping and have to go out and wake me up. Get up, you get ready for school, you know. I don't know about y'all, but I have three kids, they're adults. I have seven grandchildren. I want my grandchildren to come to Death Valley and see what I see. We're not forever, so let's make the most of it. Get out of your cars. Get out of your houses. Take a walk. You cannot experience this beautiful earth with a computer. When I was coming in here, I was, it was like I was coming home. I mean, tears come to my eyes. I'm going, I'm coming home. So, yeah. All the places that I've been, I come here and I can rest. And all, all the stress and all, it just, there is a, a spiritual deal here for me. It may not be for everybody else, but for me, I come here and it is, it's a restful place. It's like going home. And uh, 
And I think it'll always be that way. Find that place. Protect that place. And I'm telling you, this earth is that place. Thank you.